Today, Shirley Concrete's trying to break a linear foot curb record, and we have 14 trucks on them. They want about 100 yards an hour. This is going to be somewhere around 1,000 yards. Uh, linear feet's about 17,000 on this project. This record that they are attempting to break, 16,687 linear feet in 11 hours and 10 minutes, was set in 1986 by Shirley Concrete. It'll be the first time this century that anybody's pulled this much curb. Unless somebody pulled yesterday and I don't know about it. Not often that a project of this size comes along where you have that many linear feet that you can place at one particular time. They're waiting in line. We actually put a few more trucks on this job than needed today because we always want two or three waiting out here and that way the slumps again we can double check the slumps and that curb machine only shuts down for about 30 seconds in between trucks. There's a lot of coordination when it comes to a job, especially a job of this size. Wendell Shirley, is it's not uncommon to see him on the, the motor grader getting the, the subgrade right. He stays out in front of the machine and makes sure that everything's prepped properly. And Hillary, on the other hand, does a great job of, of dealing with our drivers and staging them. And then they've grown the company. And then Stevens out here today, Stevens, Hillary's son, who's a sophomore at the University of Alabama right now. Right, it takes a lot of men. It takes five or six, five out front or six set in line and grading and two on the machine. And, and you gotta have a great crew and then you gotta have a good Ready mix man like USA here. They do super. We, we use them every day up here in Shelby County. I've known Bill Roy and Mark for 30 years and uh, very comfortable with them. That's kind of like my machine around there. I don't worry about it. It's going to do its job and I don't worry about them. A lot of times, if you get uh, drivers that have worked with the customer before, they know what to do without being told what to do. As the truck's moving forward, he has it in a low gear and he has a, a clutch naturally and a brake and an accelerator pedal. He's also having to work the discharge of the drum. So on a production like this, he's having to discharge as fast as he can. The curb machine is extruding the, the concrete out into the shape it needs to be. And then the uh, other guys that are coming behind it are putting expansion joints in it and then also putting a broom finish so it won't be slick when you're out here in the neighborhood and the kids are playing. We run a few extra men behind the machine because form them right today and save a little concrete and make it look neater. Those guys get up in the morning at 3.30 and 4 o'clock, come this way. Stringline man watches all his stuff and Robert takes care of the machine and, and Walter does a good job on the grading and the finishers and Hillary keeps all of us herded up and he, he, he's already got the concrete lined up and knows where everybody's going and so that's the key to this whole thing, is that group that's around there pouring now. It's not me. We feel like we have a great group of drivers uh, and operation personnel all the way down to accounting. And it just makes the whole project go smooth. It makes it look easy. A job of this magnitude and on a, on a fast pace like that, it's very important that we have people in place that that know how to handle the product and, and, and keep them keep the concrete coming. We have the ability to do a job like this because we do run about 100 to 110 trucks in Birmingham and uh, we have, we're probably more capable than anybody else handling a job like this. We're fortunate to, to have a, a large enough fleet to service this type of, of job. We've gotten large enough over the years to, to be able to service you know, several commercial jobs at the same time. It's an honor for us to be part of this with Shirley Concrete and we have a good partnership with them and it is good to work with good people. But y'all have done a super job for me and we appreciate it and appreciate those men around there. I'm just lucky to have them. Yeah. They've been here long and I think I'm on keep them. Yeah. They've been around a little while. Well, I, you know, can't get rid of them so I'm just gonna keep them.